<laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast, where we discuss the previous week in gaming, maybe a topic or two. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me, as always, my co-host, Alex. Oh my god, how are you doing? How are you today? Uh, you know... No, I'm, I'm awesome. Okay, that's good. That's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I, you put me for a spell there. I was I, like, oh, yeah. where are I we to, going? I, I had to change it, man. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this garbage truck, please go over to all your podcast services of your choosing. Give us the five stars. Give us a view. Head over to YouTube every Friday. We have a new show for you. Give us the little plus button. Give us the subscriptions. All that good stuff. If you like to pay for us, thank you. We're expensive. Go so over naughty. to Patreon. <laughs> That's easy achievers. <laughs> Give us a buck. Uh, we always have Patreon exclusive this month. TBA. I don't know. We haven't discussed it yet. We'll t- we'll talk about it. We'll have something for yeah. you guys. Don't worry. We'll have something. Don't worry. If you like us even more and want to talk to us socially, social media is at EVM9000, at Crazy Flip Scare for Miss Alex over there, at Easy Achievers everywhere else. But Alex, I have a question. Mm. What you been playing? Elijah, I think I, I think you know we have been playing Destiny. Right? Man, Destiny, and man. nothing new has been happening. So Literally over nothing <laughs> on the news, we have a funny one to start off. Oh God, Fallout seventy six has a subscription service. Dude, sit back. We're gonna get through this together, and we're gonna have a good laugh. Ever. Right, let me let me strap in. <laughs> I guess I guess, I guess sit. This is straight from the bird's mouth, I think is a I think is what people say. Um, over on fallout.bethesda.net. Off to a great start. Oh, already. <laughs> Ever since Fallout 76 launched, we have consistently worked to improve and evolve the experience based on your feedback. That's why we're excited to launch Fallout First, premium membership that offers something players have been asking for since before launch private worlds for you and select friends in addition to this huge feature fallout first allow uh, also includes a host of exclusive items and membership bonuses all of which you can find detail below and the best part fallout first is available right now that's like their e3 moment and it's available right now so you're telling me like you just said oh you guys have been you guys have been asking well we've been asking for a, 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 a game that's not being played for a subscription service Alex, can you give me a release date for this? I do not remember. Uh, can you please? I don't I don't remember when this is coming, so I'm going <laughs> to follow first, and I want to know how long we've been waiting for stuff like this. Follow first. Let's go over the benefits. Private worlds. Play in a private world exclusive for you and up to seven friends. Ooh, seven. <laughs> scrap box. Unlimited storage for crafting components in your own new scrap box container. Don't know why that's not already in the game. Survival tent. A new placeable fast travel point with a stash, sleeping bag, and more for your basic needs. Again, why is that not already in game? Autumn. Uh, no, sorry. Atoms. <clears throat> Receive 1,650 atoms per month to use in the atomic shop. Ranger armor outfit, an iconic Fallout outfit exclusively for members. Icons and emote packs, unique icons and emotes available only to members. I will give it to them. The Ranger armor outfit is the one from Fallout New Vegas, and I like that. That one looked a lot. cool. I like yeah. that one a lot. It's been almost a year. Almost a year. November 14th of last year. And usually that's when you want to do the Destiny sh- Forsaken. Yeah, yeah. We're back. The next. We thing. screwed up a lot, but here you go. My see, my thing is, and if you remember before we get into this, okay. They did delay the mm-hmm. NPCs in the game. That's, yeah. They delayed that last week to next year. So we are not only mm. not getting an update to the game, they're adding mm. a membership. Now go. So they were first like, oh, yeah, we're going to give you the, the NPCs you wanted for free. And they were like, oh, you'll get it soon. Now we won't get it. That was the only thing that was even having me come back. Right. Now I gotta wait for that, and they're like, "Oh, you know this free thing? You gotta wait even longer." But now you can use, you could pay for this. And <laughs> hey no, you, you gotta get it to give it to them to be bold. They're trying. They're bold. But hey, mm-mm. do you wanna know how much it costs, Alex? Every <laughs> month, if you choose a monthly payment, it will be twelve ninety nine, and <laughs> for a full year, it is at a low, low price of ninety nine ninety nine. Yikes. <laughs> If you ever want to see what not to do, just bring up Fallout 76 entire fiasco and just show it to like a PR. Like, look, this isn't what you don't want to do. A failed launch, 
They sold a lot. Okay, I'll give it to them. They did sell a lot of copies because, because it, it says Fallout on it. Because we thought it was going to be great. Of course. And it said Fallout on and it. And no offense. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people that love this game. Of course. Of course. I'm sure plenty of people yeah. are going to do this. I'm yeah. sure plenty of people are going to give them the 13 or the 100 and play the game. I'm sure. I've, I love hearing the stories of a Fallout 76 player is a MP, acts as an NPC in the game. You ever seen those? People, since it's kind of confusing if you've never played a fallout before uh-huh. some people will wait at the start of the game uh-huh. to help people who come out of the vault for the first oh, time and they'll give yeah. them like here's a yeah, gun they'll here's walk a few ammo yeah. like, i actually had a guy who did that i was just walking around and he, he just dropped a gun i was like all right cool that's cool yeah like they were nice mm-hmm. but yeah there's nothing else better to do yeah the, it, it does feel empty again with this without the npcs there's the the robots but i mean I mean that only gets you so far, right? I mean, God, yeah. It's like I gotta, I gotta read to get a story out of this. My favorite part about all of this mm. this morning when I'm waking up, not waking up. This was like afternoon for me. I'm, I'm looking. I'm at work. I, I, I open Twitter, and this pops up on my screen, and it says, "Not only did they say this, they then compared the price to other things. For the but around the same price, you can have Netflix mm-hmm. or Game Pass Ultimate." Sorry. Well, you can yeah. technically Literally. have just Game Pass. Well, Game Pass, ten dollars a month, which is less than yeah. this. And I ra- and I, ra- to my opinion, I rather play or get Game Pass and play New Vegas and the new upcoming Outer Worlds rather than even. <laughs> not gonna lie. Outer Worlds comes e- out even Friday too. Yeah. So I mean that's soon. Literally, it comes like for us. Today's the twenty third. It comes out tomorrow night at midnight for I'm us. not going to lie. Fallout 76 doing this sounds like a jealous ex-girlfriend trying to show off the new boyfriend to the ex-boyfriend. It's like those pictures. It's, it's like, oh, look at us. I'm so happy. And New Outer Worlds is like, I'm fine. It's I'm like, those those they're like, oh, I'm, this is so fun. I'm having so much fun. It's like, like, those no, pic- it's like those pictures <laughs> of, uh, it's like, oh, your girlfriend, her, bro- <laughs> her ex, her brother, and then you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite was like when it was a uh, you and the boy and the guy. She tells you not to worry about. Yep, <laughs> it's yep. Like you as a scrawny thing. And yep. This yeah, huge buff thing. So funny. Uh, so let's talk about the positives. I'm done talking about the bottom. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> positives. The survival tent does look cool. The scrap yeah. box is useful. Um, mm. The monthly items. Even though it does seem very tacked on, and it was, it's, it's almost like they looked at their list and they're like, "We need at least one more thing on here. Just give them atoms every month." Yeah. That's, pr- I mean, those are cool. And again, the outfit looks cool. Thirteen bucks. I can't recommend this literally to anybody. Mm-mm. Like, even if you play the game, I guess Private Worlds sounds fun. That I mean, I guess if I was playing it, I'd want to play. Why by only seven? Because I mean, it's it's a big world. Why only seven? Server I mean, at least space, I, I, assume. I mean, I, 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 I assume they can't do too many because servers are expensive. So I, I guess maybe that's what it is. It's just it's just an odd number for seven. Like, yeah, why not is. ten? Well, or technically 20. it's eight altogether. So like, I guess that I don't know. I assume there's some technical where if it's any more, they're gonna have to buy out another server, and that's another mm-hmm. some odd million dollars or whatever. Probably I don't know. Yeah, but I agree, it is weird. Um. <laughs> I, I just remembered the, oh God. what's that f- moth thing in that game? There's like some moth in the game, and, and it has a picture of it right here, and it's just funny looking. <laughs> We're done with that. You have any anything? Any, any no, I just, um, I just, I hope that they uh, they come out. It it. You hope it turns around. Hope yes. it, hope it comes. It becomes back. something positive for them, then mm-hmm. help them. But I just, I really hope that this doesn't make them. E- Go down. What, what happened to Bethesda? We've gotten this. Young Blood came out and so, okay. it was like a fart okay. in the wind. It just quick, <laughs> quick, quick thing happened. with Bethesda. Last couple, last what? Three years. We haven't seen anything like fantastic. Go, like, yeah, like crazy. Fallout Four was Fallout Three again, which yeah. is fine. Well, which no, yeah, I mean, but and, and, yeah, and like, I mean, I was excited. I loved, I loved Four, of course, but yeah, I played it. I beat it. Yeah. Like fully and then did each but then, ending. Yeah, like, I mean, of course there was Doom, but I mean it's Doom is awesome. Doom is cool, yeah. I would say Doom was the last like huge And they're hurrah. aggravating me just with that because they already already pushed it back five months, was it? It was supposed to come I'm out very this year. Curious or this if, month. I'm very curious if the pushback 
What's because uh not because of this specifically, but because of like they need the sales. So mm-hmm. they're like, we need to keep this away from everything. Yeah. So it really blossoms. Very curious because I I want to assume the game's done. Maybe it isn't. Maybe they looked at the game. And were I just like, you guys. Any, need well, to I haven't fix seen this. anything of it being gone or like gone gold. No, of course oh, not. Yeah, no, they won't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They haven't said anything about this stuff. And I don't think they will. But, we'll probably hear it yeah. in March. I just haven't heard anything. The only thing, honestly, that I've been excited for, and it's not even a, an, a like a like a release date for a game. Starfield. Oh, that. Oh, okay. I thought I, I was like, oh, am I gonna guess what Alex is? You're thinking? close because okay. I was gonna say it's Starfield. And Elder Scrolls Six, okay, but that's a gimme. And also, we're f- so far. I'm not even well, thinking that, about the game. Well, that's a, of course it's a gimme because I mean, it's new and yeah, it's uh, that's I all guess. we've been waiting for. Just yeah, give true. us what we want. <laughs> well, they gotta make other stuff first, and then no, <laughs> make Elder Scrolls Six and stop everything else. Yeah, that are just <laughs> yeah. I guess <laughs> this is over on the Washington Post by Gene Park Call of Duty. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I hate Alex, when the straws do that. Alex, it's always every month, or, or sorry, every week mm. we do this. You have some sort of knickknack, some sort of food, <laughs> some sort of beverage you're messing with. <laughs> Look, and I'm, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm angry, but I'm also happy because you have a shtick. <laughs> I'm, I'm picturing someone listening and being like, I wonder what Alex is eating this week. And, and then tunes in just to hear, like, what is he going like, to be eating? What is he going to be I'm drinking? I'm fat. Again, Sue me. Alex. What you what you what you been drinking? <laughs> what you been drinking, Alan? I'm not gonna lie. Oh, this what is Coke. Is it? No, it's just but Coke. I, earlier, Coke. you're gonna it's gonna sound weird. No oh, god. Dr Pepper, but it's the cherry vanilla flavor. Oh okay, I thought you were about to get weird. Well, because I mean it, that seems fun. Because well, nobody drinks Dr Pepper. I like Dr. No Pepper. one drinks Dr. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But Only see, Dr Pepper. Yeah, I think and see, Dr. I, Pepper. cherry vanilla Dr Pepper. I drink the cherry vanilla. It's pretty good. Coke. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. Then, I just wanted to, I haven't had Dr. Pepper in so long, and I was like, I had it the other day, <laughs> and I was like, Dr. oh, that's Pepper good. Forever. So I was like, I'll try the, the other one. Remember when you asked me if I had a Capri Sun? Yeah. Like, I was the weird one for not having the Capri Sun. <laughs> well, I, I, honestly, it looked like a Capri, Capri Sun, but when I looked at the box, it's the the Kool-Aid jammers. The, it looks like the Capri Suns. Not jammers. So no, it wasn't not, even not, a Capri Sun. No, it, it's in the pouch. You know the, no, I know. It's the in Kool-Aid the brand, yeah. but it looks like a Capri Sun pouch. Yeah. Yeah, it's that one. But yeah. I thought of a Capri Sun because just because, I mean, of course, well, every time you see good. those, it's Capri Suns. Capri Suns are good, but I haven't had it in, like I told you, like maybe I 10 years. I chugged one last night. <laughs> I just like, I needed something quick. So I was like, I just, I'm just picturing uh, Alex double fisting two Capri Suns into his mouth at the same time. Just <laughs> 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 like udders from a cow. Ew. <laughs> Call of Duty will get a battle pass with no plans for the hated loot boxes. This is over on the Washington Post. Call of Duty Modern Warfare will not have the much maligned loot box mechanic at launch and will instead introduce a Fortnite-inspired battle pass system that will debut after the game's October 25th release date. Two days. I'm going to do a quick caveat here. Mm-hmm. Why do people keep doing the that. little microtransactions, specifically Activision? Mm-hmm. Why do they keep doing the microtransactions after the game launch? I will tell you why so no one reviews them. And it's very annoying. They did the same thing with the Crash Bandicoot Racing thing. Mm-hmm. It's it's just annoying because they yeah. do that so people review it, and then when you actually get the game, you don't know it's in there. I digress. Based on pre-order pricing, the base game will retail for at least sixty dollars. Fortnite, on the other hand, has been free and sells a ten dollars pass every few months, with the opportunity to earn back enough in-game credits to purchase the next season's pass without adding additional I wonder, funds. I wonder which game has made more money. Call of Duty's Battle Pass, so go, go ahead and look it up. Call of Duty's Battle Pass also appears to give players the opportunity to earn the money back in-game called COD Points. But it is not... First off, COD Points, really, guys? <laughs> yeah, very creative of you guys. But it is not known whether it will co- uh, cover the full cost of following seasons pass. As for specifics by the Post, and Activision spokesman replied, as we said, we are introducing a new Battle Pass. We do not have anything else to share at this time. <laughs> he sounds so mad. <laughs> I like that. As we said, we are introducing a new Battle Pass system. We do not have anything else to share at this time. <laughs> Unlike the Battle Royale, only free mode of Fortnite Modern Warfare will feature several multiplayer modes out of the box in addition to the highly anticipated return of its single-player story. All functional content that has an impact on game balance, such as base weapons and attachments, can be unlocked simply by paying the game, according to a statement from Activision. We did go over that. You can actually play and unlock multiplayer weapons 
while playing single player, which is really, really cool. The Battle Pass would work similar to Fortnite's, giving players a preview of the free rewards and a premium stream that would become available after players handing up extra money. The exact date of when the Battle Pass mechanic will be introduced is not yet known. Cool. That's about it. Again, Battle Pass. It looks it's interesting. Alex, are you upset at all that this is a full sixty dollar game and you have to pay for a battle pass? Um, no, because I mean it's optional, isn't it? Yes. Okay. I mean, that's valid. I think. Yeah. I mean, I, have I'm, still, I mean I'm still getting everything Cut. that I, the game. I mean, what, the battle pass isn't it cosmetics only? So most games, yes. Uh, we can touch Destiny two in a second. I, uh, okay. Because we can we, now that we have so many battle passes in the wilds, we can kind of mm. compare them all. This one I did read uh, somewhere that it is cosmetics only, and everything you buy is also cosmetic only. Destiny two has also a battle pass system, so we can compare the two. Um, same price, I think ten bucks, and I think Call of Duty is going to be ten bucks too. Okay. Destiny two having not really cosmetics because you get a gun from it. Technically, you can get the gun from the free service, but. I think it's interesting when we're in that realm of it's sixty bucks. Another ten bucks will get you the extra stuff. I'm fine with it. I know some people won't be because if you say someone microtransactions to somebody, there are, someone's gonna get upset, of course. Mm-hmm. But that's all. Any? Uh, did you have any sources on what you were, dude? I, binging? I, I, I mean, I was trying to find stuff. So what are you trying to compare? Anything. So I was trying to see. Okay, for the year of 2018, mm-hmm. how much did Call of Duty make compared to Fortnite? So I was trying to see who made Nowhere more money. Nowhere close. That's what I was trying Fortnite to made way more money than well, and they probably is, doubled up on. And them. which is crazy because I'm I'm not sure because um because like because we read something what was it like uh, uh, two billion um, Fortnite, well, Fortnite made two billion and see in the first three it said in the first well, three days of Call of Duty they made half a billion yeah five hundred million dollars. Yeah, which I mean, that was in three days. So in a year, Fortnite does two billion. But I mean, well, it is a free-to-play game. Again, you are renewing skins yeah. every day, yeah. so you have a new way of monetizing to somebody. Call of Duty sells a lot at first. It does a big mountain, mm-hmm. and then it goes down plateauing. So not really the same. I feel like with Fortnite because you are constantly getting more money out of people with with the skins renewing again every day, emotes renewing every day, yeah. battle pass systems ten dollars, and everyone think about it. All the kids in the world, eventually some of them get allowances and get the battle pass. Right, I see it every day. Yeah. <laughs> so I th- I don't think Call of Duty is probably didn't even hit the half mark. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much Fortnite? Fortnite made money that literally like makes p- give people pause. Because now we're yeah. seeing battle passes and everything because Fortnite made so much money. Yeah. Um, if I had to guess, they probably, in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Lifetime, probably got close to $700 million. Probably not over. I don't know. Um, moving on. Call of Duty Modern Warfare won't be sold on the PlayStation Store in Russia. Games will be sold digitally on Playero.net and Xbox Cancel Store. This is over on Rebecca Valentine by GameIndustry.biz. Sony has decided not to sell Call of Duty tomorrow for digitally on its PlayStation Store in Russia, though the game will still be available on other platforms in the country. Eurogamer managed to confirm the news after a tweet from the Call of Duty Russia official account first announced it earlier today. The statement in English provided to Eurogamer as it follows. Quote, Call of Duty tomorrow is a fictional game that has been thoughtfully created to entertain fans and tell a compelling narrative. Sony Interactive Entertainment has decided not to sell Modern Warfare on the PlayStation Store in Russia at this time. We look forward to launching Modern Warfare Digital in the Russia on October 25th on PC via Battle.net and on console via Xbox. Weird. Mm-hmm. Weird. Why? Now, I will get to the point where in <laughs> Russia's like always the default bad guy in any Call of Duty game, right? And mm. especially in the Modern Warfare. Where they're just like, oh, who's the bad guy? Well, Russia did this. And it's like, oh, let's go get him. So if I had to guess, because Russia is very similar to China, where they will ban something if they need to. Mm, This is maybe some sort of a make good, where they're like, hey, we're not going to be behind it because we kind of want to sell PS5s. I'm very curious on how much PlayStation sells in Russia markets, because it's very odd to bring up, I don't know, maybe, maybe they don't want any asian difficulty so they just want to try and do this weird political play and not jeopardize any market maybe mm-hmm. that's why i'm very curious 
why they actually decided because Xbox is of course fine with it, and I guess Steam or well, Battle.net is fine with it. So Activision doesn't seem to care. It's Activision's statement with its mention that the game is fictional may indicate the reason behind Sony's reluctance. Modern Warfare story campaign centers around a rebel force battling Russian occup- occupation <clears throat> occupation mm-hmm. in the fictional Middle Eastern country of Uzbekistan. Go ahead. I was gonna say no. Uh, uh, Steam has been having a lot of issues lately haven't they i didn't mean steam i'm sorry i meant battle.net oh okay well uh, you, you said something steam, about, well no like uh i was reading something it was like a couple mm-hmm. weeks ago and that some it, i don't know if, it, if steam was just having I mean, maybe i'm thinking of valve isn't it valve by steam yes that's the okay same company, i are having basically. a lot of issues lately or something they're with like, legal like what do you mean uh, god i can't remember the what i read uh, just look it up real quick i'm curious see. now because i i'm so far from pc market i feel like yeah, I that's why a i was lot of like things. I, I just read something about it, it was it was like uh, Steam having problems or something. I don't know. I can't remember. Let me see. I did hear some. I, now that you mention, I do kind of sounds familiar. I do mm. remember something. I think it was with their. Le- I think legally they're in trouble for something. Something mm. like that. I, I don't remember. Um, well, you looked that up, Alex. Over on Forbes by Dave Thier. Is this a leaked announcement for Diablo 4? Mm hmm. So Diablo 4 is almost definitely happening. We don't have an official announcement yet, but there have been hints and winks in the past that suggest that Blizzard is indeed working on the sequel that we all assume is working on. And now it seems that the leak of an ad from German gaming magazine GameStar could have just confirmed its existence. It's not an ad for Diablo 4 per se, but rather an ad for an art book that references the existence of the new game. There is a embedded tweet in here that says, yep, that's Diablo 4. Just shows an art book interesting i want to click on it can i click on this i can't click on this it's a bit odd to be seeing something like this in context the uh, the mag this magazine is apparently due out october 23rd which would require either a formal announcement in the next two days or generally boneheaded mistake from a print magazine there's also the possibility that this is a typo or a mistaken reference to diablo immortal both of which would have definitely fallen into the category of boneheaded mistakes leaks happen from out- online outlets and retailers all the time but print tends to receive a higher level of scrutiny before going out if this is true there's not a whole lot of understanding besides confirmation that the game does, in fact, exist, but that's still something. I don't think this is real, but I do think Diablo 4 is real. But mm-hmm. this seems very odd, and also the, the art book seems very plain. So, it, like, it doesn't seem real, like me staring at it. Yeah. Be cool. Do you like Diablo? Have you ever played I pl- a Diablo? I played three. I never beaten it. Do you like it? It's cool, yeah. I liked it fine. I couldn't get into it for some reason. I don't think I was just in the right Diablo headspace. That, yeah, or something. that's what I was because I started it. I just I was like, oh, this is cool, but another day. Yeah, same thing. I like the grind because I like games like Marvel Ultimate Alliance, which are very similar top down, yeah, beating games, Dungeon Crawlers, yeah, yeah, and just couldn't get into it. I don't know why. I yeah. would love to try again. I think I'm just gonna wait yeah. to try. One Diablo of the first for. Dungeon Crawlers I played was Gauntlet on my computer, and that was pretty Gauntlet? cool. Yeah. I think I played that. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I really liked Champions of Norath on the PS2 mm. and Boulder's Gate. They're very similar games. I tried Boulder's Gate, man. I just can't. Boulder's Gate Dark Alliance, specifically. Gotcha. I, I'm not, I haven't really played the PC games, um, but Dark Alliance specifically was awesome. Fortnite's new map leaked a month ago, and everyone thought it was fake. This is over on Paul Tessie, again on Forbes. I have become well-versed in Fortnite leaks over the course of the past year, with Dan and Miners grabbing things out of files so we can get new items and skins early. I follow like a dozen Fortnite leakers on Twitter at this point and DM with half of them every week to check on what's happening. But a month ago, something else happened. I was made aware of this story by a Humor Gamer piece that went up today that I found it rather fascinating. It turns out Fortnite's new Chapter 2 Mac leaked online about a month ago, yet it was dismissed by pretty much the entire community as fake. That did uh, not pan out well. Now, the history of the map is complicated and long, but best summed up the end of this uh, Reddit post here. The original story is, is that a user said he was given a snapshot of a new map by a friend who was an Epic employee. That's just true to every fake leak story ever <laughs> uh, concocted, so no one thought much of it. The image was downvoted and reposted and deleted, and then some Twitter users tried to take credit for making it. And most of these tweets are now deleted as well. But it seems uh, likely that Epic was probably behind the scenes getting the image removed when it stay up for too long because... <laughs> It was, of course, real, and it is exactly the map. That is very cool. I always love saying, like, oh, we no one believed him because everyone thought it was fake. It was just funny because these are all very fortnite names, too. Mm-hmm. So it's like that guy put in a lot of work to make it fake, but it has yeah. happened before. Sweaty sense. By the way, yeah, Fortnite, way more money than Call of Duty. 
told you. Yeah, Call of Duty <laughs> was just under a, million, uh, a billion. Mm-hmm. This one was uh, last year was two point four billion. Yep, two point four. And it's I crazy because it well. says Fortnite also helped drive digital game revenue up to eleven yep. percent year over year to one hundred and nine billion in twenty eighteen. Right. That is mostly because of them too. Yeah. Because if you take all of that out, yeah, you're actually down technically year over year. I remember yeah. that being. Um, uh, a part of it because people only have so much money yeah. so mo- <laughs> yeah it was funny because people were speculating that it, it is fortnite killing other games because so many people are spending money on it which is an which is more of a think piece rather than being yeah. serious and actually considered it's more of like a interesting thing to think about but yeah crazy right yeah 2.4 billion that's a lot and call of duty black ops not even it was, it was 800 like it said it was 14.3 units or millions uh units sailed mm-hmm. if you time that by 60 for the base game it's 858 million yeah and that and that doesn't account for sales and stuff. exactly so, yeah. so but most likely all of those were 60 yeah. bucks um but yeah good for them I, um yeah. t- that it's such an insane number to think as a think free about. to play game yeah no one would have thought this game dude i first saw that and it was you know of course fortnite started as a 60 dollar game and I was like, oh, it looks cool. And I was like, you build stuff. Interesting. And I was like, oh, it has a story mm-hmm. and all that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. I watched people play it. And then and I was like, eh, it's a if look, I remember correctly, okay. the Epic people said they liked PUBG, so they wanted to try a battle mm-hmm. royale. Then yeah. They released theirs. Yep. Three seasons passed, and then it happened. Yep. It was like mid-season Yeah, because that's three, when I started. Start I, of season four. I started at season three. And mm-hmm. uh because I, I watched one and two. I was just like, nah, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not into that yet. And then I mm-hmm. tried it. And then I've been playing since. Another free-to-play game, Alex, I've, I've been playing Pokemon Go. Oh, yeah? We have a story. No Pokemon way. Go will let you battle other players online in 2020. This is on CNET by Daniel Van Boom. Pokemon Go was a global smash upon its 2016 release, and it has remained one of the top-grossing games on iOS and Android ever since. The game's longevity is made more impressive when you consider that there's no online battle mode, since online battle modes are usually how companies keep players coming back to the games. But Pokemon Go developer Niantic is changing that, announcing Monday that the Go Battle League will launch in 2020. Until now, players have only been able to duke it out with Pokemon locally unless you've hit Ultra or Best Friends, ranking with another player. That means you can currently either fight another player excuse me who's physically nearby or someone you've seen a bunch of in-game gifts to i know interacting with another person it sounds horrible (laughs) funny 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 i don't care i think about about a mode no like i I said i just got back into it with my girlfriend we're walking around we're i mean i just like catching the pokemon it's just fun catching them and stuff well i'm curious if how they will implement this to incentivize me like, will uh, it be incentivized? Like, will it be like, hey, if you play this much, you'll have a chance of getting this Pokemon or something like that? That'd be cool. Uh, yeah, I, but I, I I, don't know. I'm curious on how much of the game this will gonna take They're going to add a up. battle pass. <laughs> mark, uh, uh, everyone mark your calendars. <laughs> if this, Alex is right, this is he's going to send him clever Wink because that'd be insane. Yeah, they'll add a battle pass. So, like, let's say the amount, a certain amount of Pokemons you capture, you'll get, like, a legendary Pokemon. No way. Or like, because that's like pay to win definition. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I was just like, I mean, that reminds me of everyone. Um, no one complained about. Remember, let's go. Yeah. Do you remember you bought the Pokeball? Yeah. Remember, me was in that. Yeah. No one complained about that. No. You had to pay to get technically to get the Mew. full Pokedex. Yeah. No one said any. Everyone was fine. That was another fifty dollars. Yeah. To get me. Just to, to get just to get Mew. Yeah. A level one Mew actually. Wait, yeah. No, no, it's no, level, level 100. 100. That's yeah, right. He couldn't 100. use them, but eh. no, he's level 100, so he doesn't obey you. Remember, you have to get the gym battle. I'm, I, I used them. I had them at in the my, start of the game. Yeah, because I was killing Is that everything. Not a mechanic in the in Let's Go. In regular Pokemon games, no regular Pokemon. Yeah, if he's high, too high of a level, oh, but it's not a thing in this. I, one? I don't think so because I rem- I used him straight off the bat. He was my first Pokemon I was using, and I was killing everything and, like instantly. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, okay. I I, I, I could have swore it was a hundred. Right. It yeah. could. Be, I mean, hey, you're probably right. It's been forever since I played. Hey, it was again. fun. Well, it lasted. Alex, something special happened mm. this morning. Wait, what happened? I jumped on Twitter. Okay. A lot of stories with me start with Twitter, don't they? Yeah, I have yeah. a problem. Look, we'll discuss that look, later. You wake up, and the first thing you do, you check your phone on Twitter. No, no, no. 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 I pee, then I check Twitter. Are you okay? sure? Yes, because my bladder feels like it explodes now well, every I've time I wake up. I've seen you wake up with your exorcism position self, 
and you'll grab your phone, look it's at it, you bad. got nothing. You turn it back down, and then you go. Sometimes I got to pee so bad, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? It feels like I'm about to explode. Anyways, <laughs> I open Twitter, and this amazing GIF cop pops up. Oh, God. Of WWE 2K20, the new game that's set to, uh, that's already out, actually. It came out Tuesday. Didn't even realize. I think it's Tuesday. It might have been last week. But anyways. Tuesday. Um, came out. It is broken in every way possible. Oh, God. And that, it is broken in the best way. It is hilarious. Tell me more. WWE 2K20 is broken in every possible way, but over by Nathan Grayson on Kusaku. Before WWE 2K20's release this week, fans were already feeling antsy. Um, behind the scenes, tumulant and some unflattering early footage left them with a gnawing fear that this year's professional wrestling game wouldn't be up to snuff, or even on the same level as the not exactly beloved series entries from the past few years. Those concerns turn out to be well-founded. WWE 2K <laughs> is ridden with glitches. This year's World Wrestling Entertainment tie-in game, published by 2k and developed by visual conception a quick note here usually it's developed by uke not this year this is now a new developer that they switched halfway through this could explain the bugs say, this is there, there it is. if i remember correctly it was halfway through or you got a build that they probably had no idea how to work with and they had to like fix it before they yeah i don't know i digress it has been out for about less than 24 hours. As of now, it's been about two days. But fans have been already compiled a lengthy list of bugs, missing features, and other issues. Chief among them are freezing and crashing, glitches, rampant animation problems, missing fan-favorite modes like create a championship, missing features like online wrestler entrances and online user-created arenas, online lag, truly unfortunate camera, uh, character models for high-profile stars like The Rock and John Cena, Nightmare Hair, a create a character face scan feature that gives life to cosmic horror slug monsters, and a glitch <laughs> that causes clones of relatives to dot the ring as though summoned by an irate Naruto. <laughs> and there's a quick, very, very funny uh, Twitter uh, conversation where what on earth is going on here? Why are there two at Xavier Woods PhDs? So there's a, a person in the game called Xavier Woods. He's very uh, prolific uh, game industry person yeah. and also WWE superstar. If you see, he is the one being... Uh, he he's the one on the floor, and yep. there's also a second one of him in the corner there, just oh, standing there him. staring at him. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, and then the same thing happens in the tweet right under that. And what's funny is, um, there's... Xavier Woods retweeted this and said, um, uh, it's it's actually my super move. I'm having an out of body out of body experience. <laughs> Very funny. Very funny. And then um. Uh, and then, did you click on the one that's right underneath that, Alex? This is hilarious. The, I'm really confused. Or the all the all of the windows, all the windows of the car, car are up. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, what we're looking at is a video of someone driving by, and the character model's hair is tripping out. You guys have to look this up. Just you know what? Don't even look this up. Just look up WW2K20 glitches and just relax for about two to three Why minutes. Why is there cutscenes, first off? I think this is the the, the story the thing. The story thing, I assume. Because you have the. Because there's like a full story mode for your create a guy. What is like, happening? Yeah, it's it's pretty wild. It's and like then, the hair is trying to go with the wind, this, but this, it's like freaking out and it looks like Medusa's hair. Yeah, it does look like Medusa. So, also, the one underneath that is the first one I saw from this. This one is hilarious. So, literally click on that. Ladies and gentlemen, so they're ha- actually fighting, and the. <laughs> you guys have to see this. <laughs> the entire ring just freaks out <laughs> it's hilarious all right currently it WWE like it's ronda 20. rousey versus uh i think this is bailey okay i don't know I the uh... characters that well um w2k20 has a mostly negative review rating on steam and a hashtag called <laughs> fix i hit w2k20 is trending on twitter in the united states the latter is what you'd expect full of complaints and videos of referees flailing their zombie-like limbs into wrestlers in pro- uh, in progress submissions in the in-game camera teleporting beneath the audience whoa there it is there it Where'd is the stairs go <laughs> keep watching it it's not even Whoa, it hasn't even oh started God. now so she, 
and now she's on the gentlemen, ropes freaking out. Now, ladies and gentlemen, they have climbed the ropes, and the entire ring has begun convulsing. <laughs> it looks like she's dancing on the ring. It does like, look on the, like she's dancing. On the strings. This is hilarious. What? And now the referee is doing it, And too. now there's videos on videos uh, on this article that you could just keep scrolling and keep away. enjoying. It's hilarious. Whoa. This is a $60 game. <laughs> Even outside the game itself, WWE 2K20 is having issues. It's $130. Collectors just was supposed to include an autograph photo of one of three different wrestlers. Multiple people have reported that their photo was not signed, prompting one of those wrestlers, Adam Edge Copeland, to say on Twitter that he's going to give out an address so people can send their autograph list uh, pieces directly to him and get them signed. That's really cool of him. Yeah, I doubt yeah. they made him do that. After struggling <laughs> with the game as though it was a sweaty beef boy hankering for a good tussle with other sweaty beef boys, I can verify that WW2K is not in great shape. He, uh, I played on PC, and right off the bat, I encountered issues that rendered it nearly unplayable. My PC can generally run most games on Macs or high def- default settings. Way to brag. And WD2K20 <laughs> is brought its knees despite looking well like this. And it's a bunch more Ew. just terrible, terrible screenshots. Hilarious. Yeah. Um, Jokes uh, aside, I do feel really bad for fans. No, yeah. I know I mean, a lot of should... people who love these games. Oh, God, especially yeah. one of my coworkers that were really loves that. Yeah, movie. Brian, right? Yep. Yeah, Brian. God. Brian loves he them. Loves and, these. and I feel bad. I don't know if he's have. And we're I have could to ask be, him. I could be saying this. He could be loving this. He's just like doing just <laughs> yeah, insane he's probably things. Doing, <laughs> yep, he's probably just like doing that, and the screen just like starts shaking. I like, like to think he does one. I like to think he does one move and puts the controller down and just sits and watches yep. it as the entire thing and he just and he just take some popcorn out and starts watching it like a movie <laughs> it's like it's playing itself oh my god again feel bad for you guys this is hilarious stop analyzing games and give give people time to make them yes there. oh my god battlefield 5 is going back to the pacific this is over by luke plankett sticking with kotaku they're still playing it. next week <laughs> next week Battlefield 5 is heading to the Pacific with two new maps, two new factions, and a load of new vehicles and weapons. It also somehow is going to be the first time you can play as the U.S. in this game. The Pacific is the focus of Battlefield 5's Chapter 5, and when it releases for free... That's cool. One second. Chapter 5, isn't this the thing that was supposed to come out months and months and months ago? Like, November? Mm, no, of last year? No, there was something else. I know what you're, I know what you're talking about. Because I know they had the battle royale that was delayed. Yes, and then that that, that came out already and stuff. I know they, but came no, out. I think uh, mm, I don't know. You could be right, know. but I feel like there was that there was something that already had came out, and this is something new. Okay, I, I could be wrong. I'm I know there was a chapter thing that got delayed. Mm-hmm. I just don't remember what it is. Again, sorry. Back to it. The Pacific is the focus of Battlefield 5 Chapter 5, and when it releases for free and on October 31st, it will have two maps. Iwo Jima, which combines beach landings with King of the Hill battles over Mount Suribachi, and Pacific Storm, which looks like a modern reinterpretation of the Parcel Storm map from Battlefield 4. A third map is coming later. You can play as either the Imperial Japanese Army or the U.S. Armed Forces, and because it's the Pacific, there are new tanks, weapons, aircraft, and gun emplacements unique to the theater. That's cool. Very cool. I've always. I was good to see games updating. Yeah, for the I've audience. always like. I've, I like Battlefield. I just honestly, it's just been so. I I didn't re, I didn't realize they were still adding stuff to this, and I, it's cool. I have Battlefield Five, and I haven't turned it on. Yeah. Sorry, I did turn it on. Remember, you did. You played the beginning part and told me to play the beginning part, and yep. I did, and that was awesome. Never went back. <laughs> yeah, I I played the whole like you know how there's like different war stories. Yeah. I think there's. Three, By the way, I think there's three or four I've played. Two there's like a through. James Bond mission level mm-hmm. of insanity yeah. where you are skiing and killing people. Hilarious. Oh, yes. I Hilarious. did that. I did that. That sounds yep. like a James Bond yep. like movie for yeah. sure. Something he just comes in. Yeah. You, you or got, Archer. You got the skis and you're just going <laughs> fast and then you got to like. So yeah, silly, so but cool. like I kind of love it. I need, no, to, yeah. I need to go play it. I, I, I enjoy it. I just wish they would make Bad Company 3. Why won't they? I, what happened? Is it? Did know. people not like Bad Company or something? Please comment, write in, tweet at me. Like what happened? What like, happened to this? Because I thought there was a there, like a long time ago. Why do they? There hate was this? a thing to where they said that were they were, were gonna work or it, it was a rumor before. It was this a rumor. I don't know if it, I don't know if it was substantiated or even confirmed or anything. The rumor was they started with Bad Company three. Mm-hmm. Something happened. Something happened that they didn't like or maybe yeah. it was broken and they couldn't release it so they switched to battlefield 5 yeah 
that was the rumor. Again, that could just be made up, but I I like to think that is probably what happened. Yeah, because uh, I want Battlefield. <laughs> that company three. I want that so bad. It was hilarious. I love yeah. the opening and all that. That that was always good. I miss a modern Battlefield because I feel like that is where it, where it's at its best. Mm-hmm. I didn't hate Battlefield <laughs> one, but I would love a a new new take. Original Assassin's Creed director apologizes for Towers. This is over on IGN by Matt Perslow. Patrick Desla, the director of the first two Assassin's Creed games, has jokingly apologized for introducing the much-mocked tower climbing mechanic to video games. Talking at EGLX in Toronto, Desla answered a question that asked if he was happy with being known as the Assassin's Creed guy. <laughs> a little bit. If you're going to spend years on something, I hope that happens, he answered. Reports Destructoid, Breath of the Wild. Wow, that was a game where you could do anything once you finished the first half hour or so. Now you're going to just climb towers and unfog the rest of the map. Sorry, it's my fault. <laughs> you could do anything. Climb this tower. <laughs> that's cool. That was just a funny story I wanted to bring up. That's yeah. hilarious. We love Assassin's Creed here, so we just wanted to bring that up to you guys. Now we are going to look a few things up i wanted to uh switch this over to the preview event that they had for the star wars jedi fallen order okay um we got a lot of i guess influencers we can call them you know people who they fly out or yeah, ask yeah, to yeah. come in to play the game and give their thoughts on their respective podcasts and their twitters and all that stuff okay uh, I use IGN mostly, and they're really good, so I'm just going to de- read from their preview. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is a much bigger, deeper game than we expected. This is Mr. Brian Altano, Ooh. one of my favorites. I'll spare you the history lesson, but Star Wars fans looking for a lengthy single-player Story Wars game, or really even a finished, released, and not canceled single-player Star Wars game, haven't exactly had the most satisfying decade. I'm not reminding you of that to depress you, though. I'm reminding you that because after playing three hours of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, I can confidently state that there is a fine finally some real tangible hope that a full-fledged single-player star wars game is here one that has no multiplayer or in transactions or loot crates or season passes really seriously star wars jedi fallen order is a real actual single-player game star wars video game that i have actually played extensively and it's actually coming out soon a new hope indeed nice now how does it play Good question, Alex. (laughs) (laughs) Fallen Order takes some of my favorite things from my favorite game and carefully places them in my favorite universe, Star Wars. It's got a 3D map for Metroid Prime that looks like it looks like if AutoCAD designed building plans showed breakable walls and health upgrades. It's got the combat from God of War or other similarly visceral action games just with lightsabers catarizing decapitated <laughs> limbs. It's the dungeons from 3D Zelda games with lengthy inventive puzzle sequences and mini boss fights. It's got the bonfires from Soulsborne games, completes with the retrieval system in place when some nasty enemy murders you. It's got the traversal from Uncharted and Tomb Raider, complete with huge walls, the scales rope to swing on, and icy tunnels to slide through it's got skill trees shortcuts to unlock unlockable character and drone skins lightsaber parts to collect it's a third person action adventure video game through and through with a refreshing canonical story to boot nice so so excited God did not is. know this was a souls like game so if you don't know what that is dark souls is the very very weird game that your friend won't stop shutting up about at that he beat it once so <laughs> that's the every time you kill something you get a soul the souls are basically your skill points that you use to level your character up at any point you let's say i kill three things and i have now 10 souls if fourth henchman kills me fourth henchman has dropped my souls i have to go back and get them in this game that exact thing can happen you, you oh, wow. beat things you get souls in yeah. quotes i'm the force whatever yeah and if the one of the characters kill you they now have your souls force power yeah, it whatever. just it dropped where you died now not drops the character has it oh, so you have oh, to kill one, that character, character oh wow okay. to get your soul force back okay interesting there's yeah. also bonfires okay so there's the For bonfire like sure. things and now i don't know what they are i don't think i've read literally what it is um it's basically a meditation point yeah you just go you meditate and it goes to this kind of star like area and you apply your skill points that way <laughs> um and then i love the uh open world isn't the right word i want to use but metroidvania yeah. like where you're going to this planet and then you need to come back when you have yeah. your force pushes and all that stuff it does say something about it it's not going to have fast travel 
Really? Yeah, I had, there's a thing. Another IGN article right here it says Jedi Fallen Order won't have uh, fast travel. It's let's see. It's by uh, Adam Bankhurst on IGN. Mm-hmm. It says while Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order will see players traveling through the galaxy as Cal Kestis, it will not feature fast travel as Respawn Entertainment wants players to explore and traverse and retraverse the different planets. During hands-on events during, uh, featuring the few hours of the st- uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, usgamer.com noticed that fast travel was not an option while exploring one of the early planets. Uh, I'm not going to say the name. Mm-hmm. Uh, instead, players must traverse back to their ship, blank, uh, before leaving and flying back out into space. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So I think that can be done well. Because yeah. at first that sounds uh, gross because I want to fast travel when I beat the game. Whatever. Yeah. But God of War didn't really do that, and I didn't mind it there. Yeah, so well, as long they, as they make it fun. Yeah, but well, they I, had the little portals. So, yeah. Well, I don't remember. The portals. So you have to get. You have to run to one to, of the portals, right. and then once you get to there, you can you can pick which one you want to go to, and then there's like a little loading area, so you can run around. It's like the the the, the tree of will, or the the I forget what it, the tree of life, yeah, thing or whatever. Yeah, I don't so know you're running, and life. then the portal opens up, and then you'll pop up in the other one that you wanted to go to. Now, uh, okay. So it is a it is it is a fast it is a fast it is a fast right. point, but you have to get to the fast travel point to go to another one. Hmm. So you can't just fast travel from wherever you are. You have to go to the point, to the portal, and then you can fast travel to whatever portal, as long as it's at a portal. This is interesting right here. In It's in that recently popular genre of open-ish games we don't really have a word for. When first I booted up the similarly scoped God of War in 2018, I was presented with a subtle personal choice early on. Should I beeline to the main story or go off the beaten path and really explore everything in this world? After my very first optional treasure chest was discovered, I chose the latter and was rewarded with a rich world of wonderful side quests, hidden paths, and collectibles. Minutes into Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, I knew that I'd once again be facing the same choice here. And once again, I knew exactly what decision I could make. Uh, Fallen Order is wonderfully fun, challenging, and densely packed so far. And there are tons of things to do and see if that's what you're looking for. That's what, yeah. Okay, so I'm that's excited. interesting that we were just talking about that and he just brought it up. Yeah. Um, as long as the church first was fun, I don't see myself minding. Yeah, the that's what I'm. Yeah, no as long thing. as I'm I, having, I, I'm enjoying just running around. Then cool. Because I, I do hate when I have to backtrack a lot. Yeah, that is a pet peeve of mine. Because I feel like it's busy work almost. Yeah, it's like for example, um, control. I think is not uh, a good example, but like no, that one was kind of an no, example. It, of, I, I honestly, think. that one wasn't bad because you can fast travel. What I'm saying though, comp- the reason that, that it was confusing is because of the map. But I'm trying to kind of like explain. I'm like, thinking more of a. Uh, even though it's a very big, Red Dead, there was like mm. there was fast travel points, but you had to be at your little stagecoach to fast travel in Red Dead. To those, their mind has well not have been fast travels. That, that, you know what I mean? That's my thing because I feel you like, pay for it, like they as, don't really want like you to as do much it. as I love Red Dead. It was such a great game. Such a good. Game. I hated that I had to ride for like 20 minutes i felt like just to get to the city they did or something. that purposely i know oh I know yeah rock oh, no, star is so into their I mean, thing i mean I, and i did enjoy the commute it was sometimes when it's like oh the music starts and you're just chilling but i that don't want to awesome. do i don't want to do that every, every time. single time and again i know that's their thing they want you to like be in the world i mean i understand yeah because you're the model those with the cars but i mean come on but i never i ne- i get it but like and then, if I lose, and then if I'm I lose good. my horse, I got to run. <laughs> with your saddle. <laughs> I never had to run with my saddle. No, I know. Oh, it's, okay. it's if you like don't want to. It was oh, for whatever reason. You, like, you. you cannot lose. Take it out. Yeah. yeah. But no, I, it, it's just. Uh, it, it's it's like, things like that. So I'm just hoping that the traverse. Like, I feel like it. I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be like. Um, I think what they say. Uh, it could be like Uncharted. Um. Gets go, me excited. Uh, by go, the way. Uh, go, not go, damn, not go to the abyss. Um, I thought you were about to say Gohan. No, it's <laughs> like what's Gohan? No, what, uh, where are we going? No, Take me um, on this journey. The one with the two chicks. Um, the latest Uncharted one, the one that was like a, oh, Lost Legacy. Thank you, Lost Legacy. You know how it was more a little bit more open. Yeah, and you can traverse and stuff like that. Like right. I feel like you it's could gonna go be, do. I feel like it, I feel like it's gonna be like that, but just a bit bigger. Yeah, I think so too. I think there's going to be multiple areas. Well, sorry, I don't think. I know there's multiple areas you go mm-hmm. to, and there's going to be more sandbox, not open world areas. Yeah. That's what I say. It's more. It's more like a sand. It's more yeah. like a big area you can yeah. run around yeah. rather than an open world giant Grand Theft Auto like area. Like we said, like God of War. I mean, that, yeah, God yeah. of War. 
That's yeah. a perfect example because you had the realms you re- you jumped yeah. from and uh, and you had that no the, you had yeah you had mid gardens that that was a mid thing yeah of course right right, right. um this is a fantastic article go read this Brian Othano does yeah. the best work in the biz it's, <laughs> it's so in depth well, I don't want to read everything here because it kind of spoils the article and also I don't want to spoil everything about the game if you're not yeah. super into it uh sorry if you're not that's why I if you don't want to get spoiled yeah yeah you don't want to spoil it. I get it that's Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order that's everything going on. are you excited for the game Alex God yes. We have a day month. one purchase. Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. right? For yeah. sure, I'm so excited. Oh god, yeah. We're getting the deluxe garbage, whatever. Oh yeah, I'm getting it's, that it, orange lightsaber. Or it's whatever Star it Wars, <laughs> right? Exactly. You know, it'd be awesome. What if you when if you would have pre-ordered it, you would have get um, a Star Killer Star outfit, Killers oh. outfit or a lightsaber. Just a lightsaber, just, just a black, a, black lightsaber. Because oh. if, if you hold it like just like him, that'd be so it's cool. So cool. Bring, Force bring, bring back Star Killer, but I know you can't. So no one will. But Force Unleashed, man, I miss it. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I asked, um, when I was uh when I went on the Disney cruise. This is a with, good story. Yeah, when I went on the Disney cruise mm-hmm. for my honeymoon with my wife. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the guys that worked for Lu- Lucas Arts or Lucas Films, mm-hmm. he was there, and he was the one that actually wrote the book for the Rogue One. George movie. Lucas. No. <laughs> um, honestly, my his name his name is drawing a blank now. Um, God, what was his name? Pablo Hidalgo. I was gonna, I was trying not to sound racist, but I was like, I remember it was Hispanic. <laughs> his name was uh, Pablo Hidalgo, and he even signed the lightsaber I had. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's really I, cool. Yeah, I even asked him. I was like, Is there any way you guys will bring Stark no. back? <laughs> and it was crazy because he he uh, he hesitated, and he was like, As much as we want to. We can't. Yeah, and they we can't. have it, it. It just won't add it's up with legal, all the lores yeah, and the story and the canon. It's as the much, whole reason yeah, they had to get rid of the Yeah, because he was like, I want universe. to, but we can't. It's the whole reason they had to get rid of the expanding universe. I'm surprised there's yeah. not a comic yet. Yeah, of someone named Star Killer doesn't have to actually be him. It's mm-hmm. just someone named Star Killer just to please. Yeah, fans. I guess. But no, he was awesome. We I just we were sat there for like 30 minutes. He was just answering questions. That's so cool. It was so cool. That was so cool. The, uh, I'm sad I didn't get the invite. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> Do what? <laughs> I said I'm sad I didn't get an invite, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the Outer Worlds review roundup. We wanted to do a little review roundup. This is being posted Friday, of course, but we are recording this on the 23rd. So we do not have Outer Worlds yet. We are going to try and get a review up as fast as possible as long as the game doesn't take too much of our time. And, of course, we have jobs. So mm-hmm. um, if you want us to have faster content, patreon.com. Um, help us out. We'll quit our jobs. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> the Outer Worlds review roundup. So this is what the critics are saying. Um, Obsidian's new space opera RPG, The Outer Worlds, touches down this Friday, October 25th, and the critics are already singing space. Well, a few games have reviewed better this year. The Outer Worlds is nevertheless one of the best-reviewed games of 2019 so far, currently rocking an 86 on Metacritic. This puts it behind some notable titles. Uh, I'm not going to read all those. <laughs> there are others, and I'm not interested in listing them all. The point is the best-reviewed games of 2019 have topped have a 93. Terrific. And The Outer Worlds isn't far behind. So cool. Uh, this Tomorrow is Tomorrow o- night. That is tomorrow Technically, night. Yeah. Technically tomorrow, tomorrow night at midnight. Now, if you have Game Pass, remember, you can just download this game. You can also pre-download it, yeah. which is very cool. You just go oh, over God, to the Game yes. Pass section. It, it tells you Outer Worlds uh, pre-install, be ready day one. Yeah. You I, just go over I to it, click it, it super easy. three days ago. Me too. Yeah. I think we, that's weird. We did it like same day. Because <laughs> I think that's when it was announced. It was like, oh, you can preload it now because it showed up on the game store. I think it was on my home store. Oh, that's what I meant. Like, sorry. sorry, not home store. Home page. And yeah. I was like, oh, click, clicked it immediately and yep. sold it. Exactly that I did. Sam Makovich over on Ars Technia says Outer Worlds is the best Fallout-like game in years. Whoa. Writing, it, quote, it's better at being a Fallout 3 sequel than Fallout <laughs> 4 was. Oh, that's, a, that's a shot. <laughs> What's his, where, where's, his, where's his bulletproof he, vest? Dude, he Babe Ruth that one. He pointed, and he's like, it's going to go there. It's going to go out of <laughs> field. There we go. <laughs> and knocked it out of the park. Hey, we were just talking about how Fallout 76 was being the ex-girlfriend <sighs> or ex-boyfriend. Yep. I don't want to be this that is, guy. It, but. Outer Worlds is the guy that you shouldn't be afraid of, but you should. <laughs> uh, this, uh, Outer Worlds is the guy she tells you not to worry about. Yep, that one. <laughs> it's better at being Fallout than Fallout 4 was, undoubtedly. But this is still the same gameplay skeleton as Bethesda's classic. Not an utter reworking or a wholly different 3D RPG perspective, all of The Witcher 3. That's fine. In fact, that's more than fine. It's the best open world adventure of the year. Wow. The, uh, and on Forbes, this is over at uh, Thave Theory again. 
so far, this game has its hooks in me. I've only explored the colonized backwater, which is most definitely Fallout, by the way, of Firefly, a space western with corrupt corporate chiefs, questionable griefers, and a whole lot of people just trying to get by. It's good stuff, even if nothing earth-shaking so far. Again, with the Outer Wars, we were promised the kind of RPG we know and love, and that's exactly what we're getting. A familiar experience and a new setting. So, I hope that you can get like cameo things in Outer Worlds from Fallout? No, that's not how it works. Because they don't own Fallout. Well, no, like, well, I mean, they're the ones who did New Vegas. I mean, like, right, like, but I they were the licensed then, so like, you don't really get to I guess. use the stuff. Yeah, I guess so. You, now you they could like, you, they can put like a little Vegas thing somewhere, yeah. like, and be like, yeah, you get it. Like, if you get it, you get it. We oh, can't that or there'll be a, there'll be a there'll be a quest or whatever. It's like, oh yeah, I, I mean, I we went to New Vegas or whatever, like. Or there was a yeah. they'll, they'll, sh- they'll say something. Yeah, I just want them to like. You want to give something. a nod? Yeah, I give I'm a nod sure it'll to be them. Somewhere I heard the writing is hilarious. Yeah, yeah. There, I have heard mixed. So you know, you might not have, of course, the experience mm-hmm. these people are. But I have yeah. heard mixed response. Some people saying, "Not for them," and of course, that's for everything. It, oh, it, God, if yeah. you weren't into Fallout Four or New Vegas, you m- probably aren't going to be into this one. I don't yeah. see it being that much different. Mm-hmm. Um, someone explains it's Skyrim in space, which is <laughs> pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, let's see. Sh- I mean, it, it's there. Everything is not for everyone. I oh, mean, right, like, of course. Yeah. I just wanted to point that out. Yeah. I'm very. Very excited. Yes. Same thing with Call of Duty. We'll be trying to do all of this as fast as possible yes. for you guys to get up reviews, all that good stuff. I want to play that story. Spoiler for Call of Duty. cast of sure. I'm sure oh, gosh, will be yes. up by the end of next week. Hopefully for Call of Duty. Both. Oh. Hopefully. Well, I don't it know. Depends on how long Call. Uh, not Call of Duty. Uh, Outer Worlds. Worlds is, well, uh, it, it's, if it's an open world RPG, that's and that's if it feels like we need it and everyone wants to hear it, we can definitely record one. I don't know if it'll need we'll it. We'll do like a progression one. It'll be yeah. like how we like it so far. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. But we'll definitely finish Call of Duty because normally those are like say we semi short. We, we can probably knock that days. out in two but days. I'm yeah. excited for that one because so I want to see how much they redo it because I, I love Captain Price. So. Mm-hmm. And I like that I don't know anything about it. Same. I have it's no a idea what this game story. is about. Because I was thinking they're just redoing the same story, but no. And I've seen a, I've seen a commercial a few times. Yeah. And and uh, it, that doesn't even tell you what's going oh on. Oh God, no. Um, and I know Captain Price is back, but they there was a rumor that. Soap McTavish was gonna appear, but they haven't showed him at all. Yeah, I I'm think, wondering if he's gonna cameo. I think for sure there's gonna be there's a funny quote in one of the trailers that says, um, "What is that? You need some soap or something like that." And oh just, yeah, it's yeah, just a reference yeah. to soap, and it's funny or wash your hands with soap or something, something yeah. like that. It's, it was funny. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I I'm I'm excited. Yeah, same. I am cautiously optimistic about. Outer Worlds, because I think I'll like it fine. Oh, yeah. Um, I think I'll like it a lot, actually. Yeah. And I'm craving a single-player game. I've been playing Dude, nothing but yeah. Destiny, yeah. Fortnite, yep. Apex. I get to sit down and just play single-player for Yesterday, I sat down after uh, I was working on something. I was looking at it. I was like, should I get on Destiny? No. I was like, right, let me give it a break, because I'm going to get on it definitely tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I'll give it a break and just watch Would the little bit. Would you like eat a corn dog or something? No, I ran out of those. Um, <laughs> I watch Netflix. So I'm trying to catch up well, on Supernatural. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You were really into the, the rewatch of that. Yeah. I um, I was trying. I told you Spotify on Xbox One. Yeah. Super nice. No, I'm yeah. just blaring Disney yep. songs while I'm destroying people in Destiny. Yep. Super satisfying. Yep. And another side note with Destiny, I'll save it for the end of the show because I'm sure people are tired of talking about Destiny. Um, but um, I've almost done everything. Mm-hmm. So I'm in that weird spot where I'm like, I'm well, kind of do? done. I'm waiting for the dungeon that comes out next week, um, which is like, the, remember Shatter Throne we did? Yes. They're basically making one a, for this. Yeah, basically. Okay. So I'm excited for that, but like, it's eh. a, I, I just yeah. gotta kind of, I'm in like, that weird middle. I have a lot of stuff to do on mine, but I don't care. Mm-hmm. I don't want to do it. Like mm-hmm. I have, I mean, I'm just content of what I have. Mm-hmm. So like I I went to my hunter just so I can get I get him up. I got him up to like eight hundred something. Just put a bunch of stuff on, and I'm like, eh. <laughs> I'm like I'll just go back to my world. Like Literally, you can jump like to where you're at previously if you just put your guns on. That's that what you're I did. Using. That's what I, I, do. I went from seven fifty to eight ten, and just like with, like with like three four items. Yeah, yeah, that's how it happens. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's your show for the week. Thank you so much for listening again. Gracias. If you. <laughs> 
You nailed it, Alex. Always. If you like that, please head over to your podcast service of choice or YouTube. Again, every Friday, give us the subscribers. Give us the like. It helps a lot. You guys have no idea how much it helps. Please give us the watch times, all the good stuff. If you want to support even more, we would really appreciate it if you head over to Patreon.com slash Easy Achievers. Give us the buck for our exclusives. Give us five bucks if you want anything early. I really appreciate you guys coming in. Have a wonderful day. Bye.